Just got this new watch in for review. Actually, probably a very belated watch review. I mean, I'm sure this watch has been reviewed many, many times before. But I kind of want to, I've been very curious about it and I wanted to check it out. So this is an Orient, as you can see. And wristwatch check, uh, I got, I'm wearing my Orient Star. I believe it's the Heritage Gothic. Don't remember the reference number right now, uh, but uh, still love this watch. Wear it all the time. Love the power uh, reserve indicator there. It's quite nice in the small seconds and the sunburst, beautiful sunburst dial. This is probably one of the best values in this particular style of watch out there. So let's just get it out of here. Really cool looking box. I like that it's small. I mean, I mean, some boxes are just way too big, honestly. I mean, it's a, watches are small. They don't need to be huge. Seiko kind of does it too, but this is definitely a step above Seiko as far as a watch box. Definitely give uh, Orient the win there. Okay. So this is the Orient Kamasu on a rubber strap. Um, it's got the blue dial, wow. I actually got a very similar uh, blue summer style than my uh, my Orient Star has. Not quite as nice, but very still nice. So let's get the obvious out of the way. This is a this is obviously a diver's watch. Um, this is actually a usable diver's watch. Is one thing I wanted to note. This does have a screw down crown, and it does hack. Okay, so let me explain why I think this thing is such a good value. There's only one other watch company that can come up with a watch that can compete with this, and that would be Seiko, and it's also a Japanese company. Um, but this one, Seiko's current uh, offerings are around this price range, actually at retail costs are about $275 are the Seiko 5 uh, diver's watches, and those are diver style watches. They don't have a screw down crown. They're, they're not rated to 200 uh, meters. This one is rated to 200 meters with a screw down crown. Has a nice ca has a nice crown guards here. Has hacking, just, I mean, the Seiko 5 does have hacking as well with the 4R36 movement. This has a day and a date, day-day complication. You know, this thing has a lot, of, lot going for it. It's a really, really nice watch for the money. Um, let me see. You know, half decent bezel movement. I wouldn't say that it's the best I felt, but certainly, certainly pretty good. I would say that my King, uh, my King Turtle, uh, Seiko Prospects watch has a better, has a better be bezel action, but that's a much more expensive watch. But certainly for the price range, really good uh, bezel action. Um, but let's focus a little more onto the dial here. As you can see, you have, like I mentioned, nice rotating bezel. I, show, I went with the blue color because I felt that it would be the most appealing to mo the most uh, the most amount of people. Again, this is not for me. I probably would have gone with the blue one anyway, but they, they do come in different colors like green, black. So the uh, the dial, again, nice uh, blue sunburst style there. You know, it has some uh, like arrowhead hands. I would say at least the hour markers definitely got an hour ahead. Looks like generous, generously applied amounts of loom throughout the uh, throughout the applied markers. I don't know. I haven't tested the loom quality yet, but I'll try to get a get a little shot of the loom right there. So again, you have let's let's move the uh, let's move the hands a little. So a very smooth operation of the hands. I can tell. I love the. Um, so here you have water resistance for 20 bars, which is 200 meters. Uh, so very, 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 very good performing watch. I do, I love the, uh, the hint of red, the red tip of the seconds hand. That's kind of cool, nice touch. Some people aren't fans of the Orient logo. Um, to be honest, I thought I would dislike it more, but you know, actually maybe it's this particular watch or this, the color of this dial, but I think it looks great. I think the color, the bezel color matches nicely with the nice sunburst dial. It's more of a matte finish, but it's quite nice. Um, they're probably not ceramic or anything. There you get a little more of that. Very smooth bezel operation still. Looks like there's a little pip there for the uh, 12 o'clock marker. Definitely a very nice, uh, very nice uh, dial. I love the hands, generous loom on the, on the minute hand there. A lot of loom on the hour hand, definitely 
at night you could totally tell them apart probably very easily. And there's a little bit of loom on that second hand, the tip of the second hand right there. That's what it looks like. The background of the date wheel and the, and the day wheel is in white, but I think that's fine, honestly. You'd have to like buy an Omega for you to get like a matched like a uh, date wheel color that, you know, that matches the dial and stuff. And then that, that's probably not possible at this price point. But overall, very nice dial. I'm very impressed. Um, so case finishing, the case is entirely polished. There's no brushing or anything on it. Even the uh, the edges of the bezel are, are appear to be polished as well. But still very, very nicely finished as far. Very like mirror finish, uh, very smooth. Definitely a nice quality finish for the money. Um, can no complaints there. Nice uh, case. Uh, screw down case back there, not, it's not a di display case back, but again, this is a diver's watch and I think that's fine. You have the dolphin logo there in the back, jumping around, uh, I guess, you know, this is like a, this is a diver's watch. This is meant to be in the, the taken in the, in the ocean. I mean, this is, this is meant to be used. This is not like, this is, like I said, this is not a diver style watch. This is a legit diver's watch. Um, so that gives you a better look at the back case back there. So that says Epson back there because Epson actually owns uh, Orient. Uh, even my Orient Star has Epson back there. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing to note about the front, the, the front here. This is a Sapphire Crystal. It's almost impossible to find a watch at the $200 range with a Sapphire Crystal. It's just, don't, this is like one of the cheaper watches you can find with a sapphire crystal. So this is definitely a plus for this uh, for this watch. As far as anti-reflective coating, I can't really tell. It doesn't look that bad, honestly, if there is or if there isn't, honestly. So the crown is signed with the uh, Orient, sim Orient symbol there, as you can see. And again, it's a, it's a screw down crown, which is great. Good to have for a real, you know, diver's watch here. Yeah, you so I'm winding it now. Let's pull it out to the first position. Oh, no, I'm setting the, it's hard to set it with your gloves. There we go. Okay, so there, so I'm going up. If I go up, I'm changing the, the day. No, yeah, the day. And the, so it's English and Spanish, Miércoles, and then you got Thursday. So you go down, I'm gonna change the date. There you go. So perfect. Works really well, very smooth operation, very simple to use. Uh, can't go wrong with that kind of thing. That's the item number there. And as you can see, the retail price is $450. You know, to be honest, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's $450 worth of watch, but it's, I would say it's not, it's not far off. This doesn't feel like a $200 watch. It feels much nicer, honestly. Some of the best values in watches is uh, made by Orient. Um, I really feel that's the item number there's the, on the tag there. Really, really good value in this brand. Um, this watch, uh, I think, I think I paid a little, I think I paid over 400 for this one, but it does feel substantially more, more pricey. This is a beautiful watch with a nice milled, milled uh, deployment and stuff. I have a review on it. If you're interested, I'll, I can put a card of it. Um, yeah, but Orient makes really, really solid watches for the money. I would say the rubber strap feels quite nice. I would totally, I wouldn't change it. I love it. I would leave it just on. Uh, I wouldn't change the strap. I, I, I think it's really nice strap. Um, it's not doesn't have a signed buckle and it does appear to be the buckle is brushed in contrast to the case which, which is uh i guess more of a it's polished so the there is i guess there is a little bit of brushing on the buckle there but that's about it that's pretty much the only difference in finishing as far as metal finishing um let me let's uh let me talk about the movement a little this is the orient f6922 um, I would probably consider it somewhat of a workhorse movement. This is an in-house uh, Orient caliber. Uh, this is a movement that they develop. That they develop. It's a, it beats at 21,600 uh, vibrations per hour or 40 hour power reserve. It is hand, it, you can wind it, like I did demonstrate, you can wind it and it is hackable. It's a, it is a hackable movement and it obviously has the day and date like I mentioned earlier. So this is a very solid movement, a very accurate one. I'll put it on the time graph for a little later on in the video and I'll show you the accuracy. 
Uh, let me take some measurements now and then I'll give you a nice, uh, I'll give you a wrist shot and then we'll check out the time grapher. The documentation says that it's supposed to be 40, about 40 millimeters. Uh, I'm getting closer to like 41 and a half. Let's do the thickness real quick. 12.8, solid. It's pretty standard for a diver's watch. Uh, not Definitely not too thick. Uh, let's do the lug to lug real quick. Yeah, about 46 millimeter lug to lug. I would say, I mean, if it's 41 and a half uh, di in diameter, I would say it probably wears closer to a 40. And let's see what the lug width is here. About 22 right there, 22 uh, millimeter lug width. Let's give you a quick weight here. Uh, about 98 gra 99 grams, uh, so definitely uh, not too heavy. And that's the wrist shot of the, of the watch. Uh, feel Actually, really nice watch. I really love this thing. Um, this is really nice. And again, pretty solid bezel action if I do say so myself for the, for the money. And let me see, it aligns pretty nicely there. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm, uh, the, again, seven and a quarter inch wrist, 18.4 centimeters, uh, fits really nicely. Uh, I think you could probably, this is the kind of watch you can wear with a maybe six and a quarter inch wrist, even like an inch smaller than me and it'd probably fit you nice. Maybe maybe as little as six inches, you could probably get away with this thing. Really nice watch. So I just put it on the time grapher and it's uh, doing pretty good. It's running a little slow at minus one uh, seconds per day, but pretty darn accurate. Uh, except we'll beat error at 0.1 milliseconds. And uh, yeah, very accurate watch. This is my quick little review of the uh, of the Orient Kamasu. If you're looking for something at about uh, the two to two hundred and fifty dollar price range, this is honestly a watch that can't be beat, even by the lights of Seiko or even Citizen. Even they really there really isn't something anything to compete with this. You'd have to go into the likes of like a, an Invicta, but I, I think this is way nicer than the Invicta to be honest. Anyway, I hope you I hope you find this video helpful and. Uh, Please, if you have any questions about the watch, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll answer them as best as I can. It really helps the channel a lot if you can like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.